Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is surgery day and my nerves is all over the place. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to do the bed, um, put the stuff on there or whatever and um, get, hurry up and get ready for surgery because I literally have to be gone in like an hour. So I'm about to do the bed real quick, show y'all how I can do that and then um, get ready to get in the shower and stuff. Where a lot of people come i know this um is. hotel is like 10 minutes away from um the the um the place where i'm having surgery and i'm literally seeing people walk up oh my god and they walking slow oh i'm nervous y'all i need to get ready i'm nervous and then they just talking to my come in early i'm nervous Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to give y'all like a quick um, before picture of my body or whatever. So, mind you, I'm getting like 360. So, I just want to give y'all like a quick view of my stomach before. So, this is before. So, and yeah. So let me okay, y'all. So I'm dressed. I'm on my way there. Um, I got my robe on, my gown on, and uh, my little uh, house shoes. And I got the twins in the back with me. I'm keep trying to ask him to record for me, or I don't know if he'll record or not. But hopefully, he do at least get me coming out or whatever. She's still at the room. But I'm on my way there. I'm dressed and everything. So I'll keep the camera up when I get back in there. Or when I get in there. The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tells me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know Okay, y'all, so I made it to the back. I'm in this um, little room. I gotta get dressed real quick. Here go the stuff that I gotta put on, and then I'm gonna go get some urine and stuff. And then I'm gonna put the stuff that I got on inside of this bed. But yeah, so let me do that real quick. Okay, y'all, so I just went to go give them some urine. I'm just in here waiting for um, my address. My thing is broke, whatever. I'm all dressed and I'm just waiting. So I got my robe and stuff in here. I'm probably gonna have to put my phone here too, but I don't have to. Okay, y'all, so I'm still waiting. I just went over like a couple questions with uh, one of the ladies or whatever. And it is cold in here, but they got like a heater over here. So it's not that cold. Okay, y'all, so I just got my IV started. 
and I'm just sitting in here. Um, it's pretty warm. It's not cold, but I'm just sitting in here right now. Um, so I'm just sitting in here right now, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Y'all, I'm getting nervous. Uh, oh my God. But yeah, um, I'll see y'all on the next step. Maybe coming out. <sighs> but yeah, they he marked me up and everything. So um, he was just letting me know, you know, he gonna get as much out as he can because he can only do four liters. So and he know that I have more than four liters. So yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know. I'm waiting on them to come do the next thing. No, my nerves is all over the place. I am not gonna lie. I'm just sitting here at this point. I don't know. I think this should be a fast process because when you just sit here, you just sit here and you think to like, boy, I didn't pray, I didn't call everybody. And I'm just sitting here, like, okay. And now I'm got this much to go. So yeah, I'm just sitting here, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I didn't literally talk to everybody, y'all. I didn't call everybody. Um, I done had prayers with my mother-in-law and everything, so I've been praying, y'all. I'm just, I feel better. I do feel better overall. But, um, I don't know. Now I have to use the bathroom. This IV is almost done. And I have to use the bathroom now, so I'm just waiting. I pray for a speedy recovery, y'all, to like. But yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, y'all, so I literally been out of surgery for probably about 30 minutes or an hour. I'm hurting so bad. I'm sitting up trying to eat this soup and drink this pineapple juice. Um, I'm hurting. So my medicine, mind you, we did pre-op and surgery the same day. So I do not have my medicine, and I highly do not recommend doing this. Let me just wait. I have to time it on, but I'm just hurting. I want to talk, but I just feel like so much pressure. But I gotta be like, I've been cut up, and I have. Sorry. Okay, y'all. So I'm up, walking around. Um, I'm just walking around in the room, back and forth, back and forth. Um, I feel a little bit better. Um, I took two more Tylenol. They gave me Tylenol, but I took two more Tylenol. Um, I'm just walking back and forth, back and forth. Actually, y'all, I feel pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, now, it's probably because of the Tylenol, but I haven't took um, anything else, like the sugar payments, because y'all, the line, he, my, my dude dropped the month and everything, but the line and everything, um, I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to get done, but the time not help it. Like, I still feel pain, but it's not like unbearable pain. So, I'm just walking back and forth. I'm gonna walk. Let me get me an alcohol pad. Uh, I don't feel like I'm gonna faint, but I'm gonna get an alcohol pad just in case. I feel good though. I do feel good. Um, let me show y'all my. Oh! Body. I know it's covered in blood and everything, but I'm gonna show y'all, y'all. And okay, hold on, let me show y'all my body. Okay, y'all. So this is my body. Let me move this stuff out the way. Okay. 
this is my body. Um, mind you, no BBL, just Lipo 360. I'm trying to finish this soup. Drink as much as water as possible. This is the soup that I got y'all. It wasn't too high. And sodium has some other soups. Well, some other soups was like over 900. I think that's like 640. So I'm trying to say low sodium. Um, yeah, so I'm just walking back and forth, back and forth. My dude just went to go pick my sister up. She just got done. So he went to go pick her up. Y'all, I just feel really, really, really tight. Um, really tight. But um, honestly, my throat isn't sore. I have those hogs, but my throat isn't sore. Um, I'm just trying to get my walks in, y'all. Cause by me having sickle cell trait, like I told y'all, I have sickle cell trait, so I got a higher chance of having blood clots. So, oh, this definitely that car pad. So I'm just trying to look back and forth, back and forth. Okay, y'all. So, I'm gonna show y'all the bed in my chair. Uh -huh. So, this is the bed. They actually gave us these, or gave me these, or whatever. So, this top layer. So, I just got that on there. Um, the chucks underneath. I was sitting in this chair, so I got chucks in that chair. Y'all, the twins over there knocked out. But, yeah, so I got chucks in that chair. Y'all, we have tiles on the, I mean not tiles, but covers on the floor. We gonna have to, they gotta come get this stuff. I called the housekeeper, um, so I'm just hoping they on their way. But this is the chair that I'm gonna be sitting in for a minute until they come in. So I'm gonna sit right here and kind of like chill out after I get my walks in. So. I'm not really cold, but y'all honestly coming out of surgery, I was shaking some. So I'm just getting my water and my soup. And I'm finna go sit down over here. And kind of just chill out until they walk in. <sighs> y'all, oh my goodness. I did not think it was gonna be a walk in the park, but this stuff, serious. And I just want to thank my dude so much, y'all. He is amazing. I promise y'all. He is freaking amazing. So just have a loved one, or if you do have a dude or whatever, somebody who really truly care for you and love you. Just have them come down here with you or whatever. I'm finna sit down, y'all. My lip is like, I got braces on, so I don't know. How they was had my mouth open, but you know, if you have braces and you open your mouth a certain type of way, the brackets will get stuck on your lip. So my lip do feel a little swollen, sore. But I'm about to sit down. Hold on. I'm gonna like this door. He had me like this door, y'all, but I'm gonna like this door because. I am not gonna be able to get up. So I like it when he, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need help. Y'all, I just got my walk in. Y'all, it's post stop day one. Um, I'm just sitting up in this chair right now. So my toes is like really dirty. So I'm about to get them clean and put on some new ones. 
I actually feel better though. I feel a lot better. Babe, you wanna put a thing up there? He's so pretty. Huh? Uh, um, check on the thing. On the, on the chair. Why do you guys still have that bubble? So, um, I'm about to put these compression socks on because the ones that I got out. You want some oatmeal? Okay, daddy gonna make you some oatmeal in a minute. What's she trying to get? Okay, y'all, so, um, I'm about to show y'all getting my feet good. I gotta lift my feet up. Ah. Uh. Oh, they can't take that. Yes. Right, you, I got a bar of soap in the um, drawer over there in the container. some sun. I have a massage schedule uh, for 12 o'clock. Uh, I think it's like 10 right now. This day one. And honestly, I can say that I do feel good. Uh, a little sore. And I haven't took um, I have Tylenol 3s, y'all. That's what he gave me. And I haven't took one since 3 a.m. I think it's like 10, 11, or 10, almost 11. I haven't took one since 2 a.m. actually last night, but overall, I'm just walking. Smelling this alcohol pad. I don't want to faint, even though I don't feel like I, I'm going to faint, but I'm just walking. Walking, walking, walking. Um, go back in here. It's so hot out here, y'all. Where I stay, it's cold as ever. And it's, it's hot. Baby, did you like those doors? Can't give me the keys because the car is running. she come out and then go get some tissue yo tt okay so can you, can you excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me so i've still swole i'm getting one tomorrow Huh. Okay, so welcome to my channel. Okay, so I know y'all seen that clip before, but I just wanted to throw this clip in there um for y'all so y'all can kind of get um a little bit of kind of what I wanted to say when I was recording um that I couldn't say or whatever. Mind y'all, 
after having surgery, it was a lot of stuff that was unexpected. Um, like, I was so tired. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't. I don't know. It might have been the meds, um, the pain meds that had me like that. I know it probably was. But my fingertips were numb. I don't even know if I ever seen anybody come and say that they had numbness in their fingers. I don't know. But my fingers were numb. I could barely hold my phone for like seconds. If anything, I had to lay it flat and just kind of scroll. But my fingers were numb, like numb, numb. Oh my God. Y'all, the surgery itself was so freaking painful. Oh, like I didn't see so many girls get on here and say, you know, it was, you know, it hurt, uh, whatever, but y'all, y'all did not stretch that enough. That stuff hurts. And somebody need to get on here and tell these people that stuff hurts, y'all. It hurts like pain level a thousand. Like my pain tolerance is high. Also, I didn't see so many girls like I got high pain um tolerance. So for me, you know, I was good. No, baby, I have high pain tolerance too. And that stuff hurts. Like the first, I want to say the first maybe three or four hours, I was without pain meds, but I still took like Tylenol. Um, because when they woke me up, y'all, they gave me Tylenol. And then when I went home, I had my Tylenol that I had brought. So I had took that Tylenol or whatever. But y'all, I'm talking about felt like I got hit by a bus baby it was so painful and I just feel like people don't stretch that enough because that stuff hurts baby I will never ever baby if you can go to the gym please go to the gym it ain't even that serious it's not that serious okay I quit I quit okay I stop y'all because Okay, so that first 24 hours, it was the worst pain ever, you know what I'm saying? After surgery, it was the worst pain after. It did get better. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to discourage nobody or nothing because it do hurt. But, you know, if you want something done to your body and you know what you want or whatever, go for it, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's just some pain that's, that's going to hurt. Just know that. So, I recommend, you know, well, everybody knows to get your pain medicine ahead of time, but the time frame and how everything just kept falling, I couldn't get mine, you know, ahead of time. You know, I had to do pre-op the same day as I did surgery. So it's just like kind of fell wrong, whatever. But, excuse me. So just make sure y'all get your pain medicine ahead of time because if you don't, that stuff hurts so bad y'all like it just hurts so bad like you be so tender so raw so small like it just oh my god it's it's so painful y'all but you know i'm not trying to discourage somebody or scare nobody or whatever because you know if you want to go through that pain or not you know what i'm saying so just go for it you know what i'm saying um i did it and overall you know i'm grateful you know um i love my results my body's still swole um and that's another thing i want to go over coming off the table some of y'all be snatched okay y'all be flat coming off the table baby okay so when i came home from surgery y'all i could tell a difference automatically like i could tell a difference but my stomach was not like snatched or nothing like that but i could tell a difference so um i'm just like dang like did i just spend all this money and my stomach not gonna be you know to where i'm comfortable you know what i'm saying he did tell me off of rip like you know you have more than four liters or whatever so i'm gonna try to do my best or whatever so i'm just like okay but i kind of figured that you know beforehand or whatever but so yeah so overall you know i've been wearing my i've been getting my massages ladies please get y'all massages i mean post-op care is like everything like I can go a day or two, not even, I ain't gonna say a day, but like two or three days without my massages, y'all, and my body get so stiff. If I be on my faja more than like 30 minutes, my body is swole back up, y'all. It's just so much that comes with having surgery that I really honestly didn't think about. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I did not really, like, I thought about the stuff and I watched thousands of videos, y'all, but I'm trying to tell y'all, 
I didn't expect, you know what I'm saying, what I went through. And also, when I woke up from surgery, y'all, my back was, I was laying on my back. My back was hurting so freaking bad. Like, it hurted so bad. Like, I was just in there loud. Like, I am in pain. <laughs> They came and brought me pain medicine. I hate to be that girl that, you know, people talk about tossing. She is so loud, like, she need to be quiet. But, y'all, I was in pain, and I just had to let them people know. They did bring me Tylenol or whatever. Um, and I just felt like I had to pee so bad. So, I'm just like, oh, my God, I got to use the bathroom. Just so loud. And I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I have to use the bathroom. So, a lady did come. She did, you know, put the urinal down there or whatever. And, um you know try to help me go or whatever y'all that did not work i think it's because i was laying down on my back but when i did get in the car why well, have to pee so freaking bad i'm talking about so, in so much pain had to pee so freaking bad y'all it was chucks on the seats and everything but i literally got in a car he could not get to the house to the room quick enough y'all i literally sat there and just pee it was nothing else i could do like You'll be feeling so helpless. Like, he was trying to help me. He was trying to get me there. And it was only 10 minutes away, but it just was not working out. I just let, and it was a relief, y'all, because the whole time that I was in the little recovery area, I just kept feeling like I had to pee so bad. I'm just like, oh my God, I had to pee so bad. So, when I did finally pee, I'm like, oh my God, this, you know what I'm saying? So, just be aware of some of the gross stuff that can happen. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just, you know, be prepared for the unexpected but overall y'all um i am glad i spent that money i ain't gonna lie because your girl let me show y'all a little glimpse a little glimpse glimpse i got my boards and stuff on but it's giving it's giving but um yeah so um walking you know what i'm saying i was making sure i was getting up and i was making sure i was walking that was my main thing like getting up every hour making sure i'm getting up and going um also y'all that first 24 hours because you know you cannot shower oh my god i was in so much pain i honestly didn't even really you know feel disgusted or nothing like that like um that faha was nasty um but i didn't like feel you know i was just so in so much pain i just wanted to be comfortable i did not lay down in the beds like i showed y'all i'm making up the bed but i did not lay down in that bed y'all i sat up and slept in a chair the whole time like even when we left the room and went to the airbnb i still sit up the whole time like i did not lay down even when i came back home from miami y'all i was still sitting up <laughs> on my couch literally like i just could not lay down like on my stomach it felt so weird on my back it's just i don't know my back so swole like i didn't get a bbl but it just felt so uncomfortable so the best thing for me to do was just sit up so if you get lipo 360 girl don't go laying on your stomach don't get in no car because when he can't pick me up i sit in the front seat don't go get in the car laying down in the back you ain't got no bbl you ain't got to do that girl sit up i promise you you're gonna feel so much better like sitting up just made me feel so much better like i slept like that and everything so um I don't know. I'm post op two. Well, I'm yeah. I'm two weeks post op or whatever. I'm still swollen. You know what I'm saying. I've been getting my massages twice a week. Um, but yeah, y'all leave some uh, questions down below. I'm gonna do a Q and A for y'all. My friend gonna give me some questions too. But leave some questions down below, y'all, so I can answer them for y'all because this experience has been like a shocker for me. It's like I don't know, like. An eye opener then again because it it is people out here in this world that do lose their life from you know getting cosmetic surgery so you know let's not forget about that but i'm blessed and thankful you know what i'm saying but yeah comment down below leave me some questions because i'm gonna do a q a for y'all um but yeah whatever y'all want to know whatever just you know comment down below and i will make a video separate and kind of let y'all know how i feel also how i felt about some of the stuff that i had purchased y'all that uh female urinal baby <laughs> it was not given it was not given but 
um leave me some questions down below i'm gonna make that separate video for y'all and kind of get into detail about some of the stuff that i felt like was pointless like i didn't even have to buy i didn't even need stuff that i should have bought um and that i eventually did get but and all the stuff that could happen like um make sure y'all bring extra cash because you don't know what can happen stuff switch up you can expect your room to be one way. They're showing you pictures and stuff. And when you get there, you just so disappointed. Like, medicine, you know what I'm saying? Be prepared to spend probably like over $100 on medicine. Um, it's just the unexpected stuff. Just, you know, have your, your coins set up right. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, y'all, comment down below. Like, subscribe to your girl channel. And yeah, I'm making a video for y'all about everything or whatever. But I wanted to slip this clip in there so I can kind of let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to record more for y'all. But honestly, I could not hold that phone. My fingertips were like numb. If somebody comment down below and let me know if y'all had that same, you know, sensation in y'all fingers or whatever. But yeah so i'm sorry for that but i did record as much as i could um y'all don't have to excuse me because i was ugly i was swole but it's okay it's okay i got through that um yeah so um like comment subscribe bye